Welcome to New Hampshire's Business. I'm Fred Coker. There's a serious shortage of housing in New Hampshire, both houses and rental units. And let's look at some of the reasons in these graphics. First of all, the rents are up six uh, year in a row for rental housing. The median gross rent statewide, 1347 for a two-bedroom unit. The New Hampshire vacancy rate is 1%. Uh, compare that to the U.S. vacancy rate at 7 So we don't have many units available. Now, here's a New Hampshire poll of registered New Hampshire voters recently, 65% uh, concerned with the cost of housing. The medium sales price of a house in New Hampshire, 296000 That's up 6% year over year. Uh, over one half say the cost could prevent them from financing affordable housing. With me to talk about this and more is Dean Christian, who is the executive director of New Hampshire Housing. Nice to have you back. Thank you, Fred. Um, I'm going to show a graph first, but I'd like you to take, and this is a graph that came from your office, and this really tells the story. And this shows a New Hampshire two-bedroom units, uh, the medium gross rent in the blue bars, up, 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 and the vacancies in the yellow line, down, down, down. What's happening? Well, we, we're seeing a trend here for a number of years where there's been a, a strong demand for rental housing in the state. We haven't been producing enough rental housing to meet that demand. Um, what you get in that kind of environment is you get upward pressure on prices or rents in this case, and we, we see a, a reduction in vacancy. So those vacancy rates, which you spoke to earlier, are, are extraordinarily low. They're among the lowest we've ever seen. Um, they really are just turnover at this point. It's not clear that there's any actual vacancy in the rental housing market. And, but the and but, but the, the rents are going up year after year, now six years in a row. Yes. So is this a trend that's just going to keep going? Unless we add more housing to the market uh, yeah. that begins to stabilize that the demand supply relationship, or you see a fundamental change in um, economic activity, obviously, which would not necessarily be a good thing. You know, this really, uh, the rental units in particular that we're talking about, that's workforce housing, basically, isn't it? Much of it is, yes. Much it's, of it it's, is. And, it's really and, important to, to attracting and retaining a workforce. And therein is part of the workforce problem. Yes. I think you hear from lots of employers that one of their concerns is that when they're trying to recruit employees into the state, um, they find that they just can't find, those employers can't find a place to live that they, they want to live. Yeah. It's close to, to their employments, it's close to amenities, things of that nature. And rental housing is a critical part of that. And you said in your report on rental housing, if I'm uh, right here, uh, your recent report, someone to afford the cost of a two-bedroom apartment at the current medium rate uh, cost of $1,347, he or she would have to be making 53900 a year. Yeah, that's based on the sort of traditional analysis of what people ought to be paying for housing mm -hmm. so that they're not overpaying. And that's a critical issue. One of the, the things that you need to look at with costs this high is that many people are forced to make a choice between other things that they might be spending their money on yeah. and housing. Now, housing shortage is both houses and rental units. Yes. And uh, in the, your report, uh, there's a piece by Applied Economic Research and economist Russ Thiebaud that says New Hampshire needs about 20,000 more housing units to meet demand. Yeah, so, uh, so we, we, we asked Russ Thiebaud to take a look at that with our folks, and, and they concluded that we needed about 20,000 more units just to stabilize the market now, to get us to a vacancy rate on the rental side that is more normal, closer to 5%, yep. and to an inventory of homes for sale that would be about six months that is a sales inventory available. And that's a lot of housing when you consider that we're producing about yep. 3,000 units a year. What's not happening in New Hampshire uh, in terms of affordable housing, both houses and rental units, what's not happening? We're just not building enough housing to keep up with the demand that we have. We have a strong economy. A lot of people want to, to come here and to, to uh, improve their housing situation, um, and we need to provide more housing to make that work. I mean, locally, uh, it has to do with siting of housing. A lot of it has to do with regulatory policy. There's no doubt about that. It also has to do with public attitudes towards yeah. housing because those regulatory policies are really driven usually by what the local officials think people right. want um, in their communities. Dean Christian, Executive Director of New Hampshire Housing. Thank you. Thank you, Fred.